Hello, hello guys and welcome back again to another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how you can get the current URL of any page, any post or any category in your website. It is really quick and very fast uh, method which will be apl uh, applied to anything in your website. So let's start with opening the WordPress for for example, now this dashboard will be open for you. For those who doesn't know how to open this dashboard, you can go ahead and check our videos or just go and write wordpress.com slash wp admin. This page will not be open for you right after you do that, it is, but this page will be. So here you put your username and password and log in. After that, this page which is the dashboard, it will be showed for you. Now, how you can actually check the URL of any page? Let's go for example to our post first. Here we create a new post and let's write and name it tutorial tutorial 5 for example here we add it and as you can see if we published it the url will be shown in here which is the permanent of course you can edit it by going into here and edit whatever you like and click on ok and update make sure that you have updated it just to make sure that nothing ha have changed or nothing uh, will not be saved in your website again the same thing for categories or pages pages are new and again tutorial 6 copy it paste it and publish it so here's the permalink and here is the url for your website of course you can edit it again and change it to whatever you'd like so something like that okay and once again guys what you have to do is save or update so yeah guys that's how you can actually get the url again and that will work for any other thing in your website so let's for example go to categories and the categories will not show you the permalink but you can choose how the permalink will look like. So for example we've created a new category which will be something like uh, technology and the link will be showed in here like the, the ID or the category will be showed as you name it in the Slack. So for example if you name it football it will be something like your domain name slash wordpress slash football. So yeah guys, that's how you can get the URL of any page or post or anything on your website. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.